Hello everybody, this is Sue with Just Because Crafter and I have a little bit, or I should say a whole lot of haul here I thought I would share with you guys. Um, some Christmas, some not Christmas, and it might be two videos. Just depends on how quickly we get through it. Um, I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree stuff because there's only a few things and they are Christmas. And the first one I have is this mesh ribbon. And I really like it because it's very soft, very flexible, very easy to work with, and it can do so many things with it. So I grabbed it in silver and in gold, and then I saw a project on YouTube that I might try, and it's done with these plastic snowflakes ornaments. So I grabbed them in different sizes, shapes, and some clear, some white some with glitter. I'm not sure if that's glitter on those or not. But anyway, I grabbed just one of each of those to play with. See if I can make them work. Then I found these lights. Oh, these are really fun. They're Jingle Bells. My little Jingle Bells with lights on the inside of the wire. So I have a project in mind that I'm going to use these for, and I picked up a few of those. They were a dollar. You can't beat that. And next, as I'm knocking things off the desk, I picked these up to either put with these or use separate on just hang them on ephemera. Or projects I'm hoping to get done for Christmas time providing then I got these flowers I've had a hard time finding like little pieces of flowers so I got these little gold ones I'm actually gonna separate the leaves and use them on some of my shakers as well as these they're kind of a really light silvery white I'm not sure Anyways, I'm hoping that they'll work. And if not, oh well. So, that's it. That's all I picked up with the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to get this out of the way because I have a lot of stuff here. I was a naughty child. I think I shopped from the neighborhood. Okay. And then this is from Tuesday morning. And I had been looking for these. I have a project in mind for somebody. They're the little candy containers. And I'm going to take the candy out of it. And, of course, do a crafty idea with it. But I thought that was really cute. And I've seen some really fun things done with them. So I'm hoping mine turns out. Because I plan on gifting it. Um, more. Okay. Okay. Then I picked up these um, charms. I'm going to use them on journal books for chunky charms. These were from Tuesday morning. I'm on to Tuesday morning now, so this is all Tuesday morning. And then I picked up these little tassels that I like to use for just page charms on paper clips or at the end of a chunky charm or whatever. They're just fun to use for all kinds of things. And of course I grabbed these brads because I found them in the antique brass and I have them in silver and white and I really like them. I like that they have the little ring that fits on the back. It helps protect the paper that you attach them to. So those are fun. Something I found that I had the rest of the collection and I had never seen this before. Um, goes with the sweet moments, Bow Bunny. So it was fun finding that. Add it to my collection and someday I'll get a journal made. Then I bought these just because I like the color, no real reason, no project in mind. But I loved the colors. And these are almost kind of velvet looking, but they might be. That one just came off. But anyway, they're really pretty. So I'm hoping maybe a journal or a frame or something. So 
that should be fun. Then I have this paper collection and I have one other side, but I found this for the Santa Fe in the eight by eight. I have the, I think it's six by nine. I'm not sure, but I love this collection. So I was excited to see that and add it to my um, collection. I'm a beachy person. I love the beach. I love tropical. I love anything travel. So this is perfect. Anyways, oh, and I love this wood. That's really pretty. So that was fun. Put that in my collection. Actually, I'm just going to leave it stacked there. And then I also found another piece that's been out for a while, but I haven't seen. And I actually hauled this for a friend. It's the Bobani Harmony. And there's been a lot of the ephemera and stuff out. I've seen lately the chipboard. But they, sorry for the reflection there. But the paper is just gorgeous. I love it. And somebody I know loves it. So I actually am sharing that. Then I found this stamp. It's um, a month and day for journaling. I thought it would be fun to put in junk journals or just stamp on pages and share the junk journals. I picked up this small... Crocodile punch. It's a very small, as you can see right there, the dot. It's uh, actual size. It's a five centimeter. It's really cool. It's a one sixteenth hole, which is nice. I make earrings and stuff with my Cricut, and when I punch holes, this is a perfect size. So I was glad to find one that was a little easy on my hand, maybe. I was just using a regular punch and it was kind of tough sometimes but this one will work great so I got that then I picked up I always pick up envelopes when I find them because I make cards a lot of cards and it's a good price for 50 envelopes for $2.99 that's kind of hard to beat I also picked up the other day some of the uh, um, the beige natural colored ones so I have a lot of envelopes now well for a while they had these little pockets for I might not be able to do that these little pockets for putting um, their dye sheets and I have received and purchased a lot of small dyes that one's not very clear so these are little pockets that you can put your dyes in and they work really well. I might have one here. Let's see, I put my flower dies in them. Works really good. And then I can put it in a binder if I want. But right now they're just sitting in a basket. So that works. I found three of them and so I have a few. I this is a new die that I haven't seen and it's really fun. I thought it would be holiday or it looks like maybe a flower in the center. I thought at first it was a pine cone. But it looks kind of branches. I like it. So I picked that up for $3.99. And jumping ahead a little bit to Valentine's Day, I saw this and I've seen others haul it. And I love doing edges on cards and borders. And just, I could use it for a belly band on a journal. I could do a lot of things with this. So, of course, it's hearts. Valentine's Day is coming. Oh, too quickly. And so I got that one for $3.99. Then this is a new one, and I saw this haul the other day. And I just happened to be going to pick up a couple things and saw it laying there in the basket. So I grabbed it. It's $4.99. And it's small. And I'll show you. I did cut one out last night. If I can find it. It's probably what I knocked on the floor. Yep. So this is the one I cut out last night and put together. I didn't put the label on it, but I did put the little end pieces here to reinforce the handles. 
And then I cut out a second one and I was thinking it would be nice if I could do a lid. So I'm thinking I can cut this down a little bit and make the lid for it. It would fit on there. So if you wanted to wrap something, you could. And then it could be a little holder. It's cute for little treats or you could even put some little dies in it or little scraps or pieces of a project you're working on. You can make them out of all kinds of things. So I thought that was kind of fun. So I got that. And then I picked up these metallic pens. They're paint markers. Um, I like using them to edge things, to dot with when I'm doing journals or scrapbooking. Um, just fun. I picked up several of these to start journals with. I'm going to actually add signatures to them. And I got the gold, the black, the black flat, and the hot pink shiny. And they're fun. They open up. And they have a signature in them that's just the plain pages. I can't get far enough away. Unlimited space here and nothing great to hold my phone with so until I get set up better this is what we get gang um anyways so I thought those were kind of fun to do is to start a journal with for some of my younger friends my daughter a couple other people let's see and I found these plastic boxes I like these when I do cards or I put together um a collection of cards and gift them I like to use these boxes to put them in so that was a fun find I had never seen these at Tuesday morning before um, this one is the what is this one this is five by three point seven five by seven and the other one is like a four boy uh, four and a half by five maybe Four and a half by five and seven eighths actually it says right there so yeah so they're good card size large cards regular sized cards so i will definitely use those i found i've been saving envelopes to do some envelope journals but i hadn't really found any um napkins that i really liked to use on them and I didn't want to make them really holiday. But when I went on a little road trip with my co-mother-in-law up north from us, about 45 minutes, there's three different Tuesday mornings that we hit. The first one's about 45 minutes away from me. And the other two were about 20 to 30 minutes apart. So we took a little day trip, went to lunch, hit the Tuesday mornings shopped our hearts out and I found some napkins to do my envelope journals with and possibly a swap later so I got this one of course the birds caught my eye and then I got this one and they're different on the other side of the napkin which is really fun so you can mix and match them I got this one the plumeria of course, one of my favorite. It's tropical. It's Hawaiian. Hummingbirds are another of my favorite. So that was an awesome combination for me. And I got this one with the pears and the fruit. And the back is just the fruit. And then I got this larger one. And the birds are so pretty. They're so bright. I don't know. This looks really similar to one that I think Dana might have used from It Is Now Dana's Making a Mess Again. But I love the color of the birds. So those were fun. And then I got this one is Succulents is another one of my favorite things. And I thought this was really pretty. could use it for a base. It's got the wood grain. So that should be fun too. So those are all for doing envelope journals. 
then my co-mother-in-law, I saw this bag and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. She goes, that'd be really cool to cut with dyes and stuff. I'm like, oh, she's such an enabler. But she's right. It is so pretty. And I don't know if you can see the shimmer. So one side is glitter. And the other side is just plain. So you can do some fun things with shaker cards or just die cuts with it. So it's not going to get used for a bag. It's going to get used for crafting. <laughs> But I can always use the top, the little tag for somebody. But that's really pretty. And then, one more non-Christmas thing I found. And I'm going to do a, sorry, I'm bumping my camera here. I'm going to do a journal for my daughter. She's an esthetician. And so makeup and all that kind of fun stuff is right up her alley. And so I found the new Glam. And this is the paper pack. I'm going to try and hold it so it doesn't get too much glare. But it is so much fun. It's got the plaid and the glasses, eyelashes, the hearts, the roses, polka dots, the little phrases. And then it's got this pack of stickers. Little bobby pins, that's so cute. Lips. But it's really pretty and the and the print's really big. And the stickers are fairly large size as well. So it'll be fun to put together a journal. I think I'll do a junk journal for her. Um she also um sells nail polish the color street. So this is the ephemera pack that came with it. And it has like six, yeah, 60 pieces in this. Mm. I'll try and hold it still enough. But it's so cute. I love all the little girly, girly stuff. This is my daughter that um, loved wearing jeans and sweatshirts all her life to school and was just very simple. And now she's into all the pretties. For her 18th birthday, I told her, can I just take you shopping one more time in the girls department? And she just laughed at me. Anyways. I should have done this before. Dang it. thought I did. I'll show you. The, the, and then they have the small paper pad, 6x6. Six six, and the paper is so cute. See if I can do this. The plaid. The roses and it's double sided. Sweet. And then the bobby pins. Polka dots and glasses. I just love this paper. I like the colors too. They're kind of pastel and some of them bright on the others. Glam gals dress to impress. Hearts. I'm trying to get the shine off of it, but you can see the gold. Oh, that's cute. It's upside down to you guys, but that's really cute too. This will be really fun to do pockets and tags and. There's the curly girl. Oh, that one's so much fun. Oh, and then it's just kind of a graphic looking. That's cute. Yep, and I think it repeats from there. Yep. But anyway, so that's really fun. So I got the ephemera, the 6x6, and the paper pack be able to do something fun with that and I think last but not least for this video I think I'm gonna stop this so it doesn't get too crazy to download I'm just doing this from my phone and I have to download it to you guys um, from there and it takes a little bit of time my last one took quite a while so I'm gonna break it into two and I'll do the Christmas stuff that I got it Tuesday morning on my second half but this is the last I got um, like I said I do earrings leather earrings and stuff on my Cricut 
and some just at hand done. And so they had the Cricut leather, which I really like working with, and the machine cuts it pretty nicely for $6.99. So I got the regular brown, and then I got the metallic silver. I have the rose gold metallic, and it's really pretty. I don't know if that's showing up very good, but anyway, so I might be looking for some more of this because that's a pretty good price. But anyway, that's what I got for the non-Christmas for the most part, except for the Dollar Tree. And so I will stop this video. I will collect and clear my table, and I will be back in a few.